Hello everyone, we are back on Target, going to the asphalt outlets. Um, I wasn't actually going to record this drive, but because there's so much traffic on the highway, we're actually going backwards. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and hopefully that wasn't considered a hard break. See, that, this is what confuses me about the score, because I don't think that should have been a hard break. I was just being courteous to make sure this car um, would go in. I've never actually been on this road here. I actually don't think I even knew that road existed. Uh, but we're going to go on an adventure today. Let's see if we can... Oh, it just had it there. Okay, we're open. We're good to go. Go, go, go. Okay, so it made it. You, as you can see, the tentacle was flipping back and forth. It tried to... Okay, that was the correct turn. I didn't think that was the correct turn. It should have not gone over until right here. But um, it didn't freak out, so that's good. Now this is going to... Okay, so technically I think I was slightly ahead of that car. Those are the weird areas that's going to be hard to tell from the car's point of view who, go who goes first. I, I think that's going to be a challenge for quite some time. Because humans have a problem with that. And okay. Like I said, I don't know where I'm going. This is a this is a complete blind turn right here. I can't I can't even see. Um, the car can now see with the B pillar. Oh wait, I have I've been on the section road once before when I was first doing driver's training. So how appropriate that we put the car on this road. Um, I had that issue too with that blind hill right there. I wish I had my 360 camera on. Uh, I'll put up a photo of street view um, so you can see it. But um, it definitely, it, it, as a human, I couldn't see either. So uh, definitely good that it, uh, um, well, it made it, but it needs to be more aggressive on that particular turn. It needs to be more aggressive. Okay, a little bit too close to the curb there. Doesn't need the blinker on here. Oh no, yes. Okay, so again, why well, you always ought to be be aware of what's going on and always have a hand on the wheel if you do kind of daze off you got a hand on the wheel and then you can quickly pull pull it out out of the way coming a little bit slow around this corner it could go faster but it's just doing it fine could go about 20 i'd say around here now turn left onto glen bridge road definitely could be faster let's see how it handles this it used to be a speed bump right here. So it should be able to see with the B pillar on both sides. Wow. That was an interesting move. So it, it started rolling backwards for that car, that Subaru that passed. And then it started it started immediately accelerating again before the Subaru had passed me. As a human, that's exactly what I would do as a human in that scenario. So that's that's new with 10.2. Preston is already just a little bit. It's too slow going around this curve. Break for that truck. That definitely seems to be an unimprovement with this version, a regression for sure. It's... Come on, car. It's getting worse at driving in the mountains, not better. It needs to be able to go around curves at a reasonable speed. Okay, so turn the blinker on, turn it off, turn it back on. Braked again for that truck. You can go faster around this corner. I'm pressed an accelerator. It doesn't like me pressing the accelerator going on curves, which is frustrating because I'm like it's doing fine and just that it just gives up 
that's been a reoccurrence since version 9 for sure. It's been real, it's been bad since version 9. And that's a problem in the mountains, as many curves as we have here. This is just, it's too slow. And I don't think, this is like slower than I think even an out-of-state person would drive. Out-of-state people wouldn't be comfortable going around curves at higher speed, but I, I really don't think this is particularly high at all, um, speed-wise. That was a very good slowdown. Full stop. It's creeping for visibility. We're, okay, I'm having to press it through the intersection. Um, there, we had the right of way, and it was like creeping for visibility, even though like it, there was no one coming. Oh, yellow light! And it, oh, I need to review the video, but maybe it's because it saw the red light on the left there. But that yellow light was occluded, even for me. But I, I still could see it was yellow, it just I couldn't see it through the trees, and I was wondering if the car couldn't see it. At least it knows to go the right direction here. Let's make sure it goes the right direction. Would have probably missed the wood and laying in the middle of the road, but it decided to go right over it, and we're good. So we go to a 35 right here so I'm not gonna let it go up to 45 mile an hour it's phantom braking right here for some reason right there too I think it's because of those cars. I don't... Hopefully that doesn't persist through future updates. That's really bad with this update. It keeps on breaking. Right lane closed ahead. I'm not sure what that means. Well, I guess... Oh, okay, that's what it means. Okay. <laughs> I'm also not sure what merge left means because you can only stay left. It should stop here. Okay, good. We're getting close to finishing this bridge right here. This is going to be great. Um, because it'll allow direct access to the Blue Ridge Parkway. If you want to go to the Blue Ridge Parkway, you're going to take a left right here. But if you... And they're going to make an off-ramp from the highway on the right right there and a, a ways across. And that's going to be fantastic. That's going to eliminate huge amounts of traffic issues right here. Be even better if they had a traffic circle right here. Much better if they just had a traffic circle. But um, a, uh, a normal intersection will be improvement over what it currently is. So we are good to get in the left lane here. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it to get in the left lane. Now I don't recall if I had a disengagement this drive. Yeah, honestly, yeah. It, it's been pretty pretty tame, this drive. Um, obviously, you'll know from the title, and I'll review it for the video. But um, this has been a pretty good drive overall. Uh, obviously, I haven't tested this road before. Maybe. Oh, no, we're going to cancel that lane change. We want to stay in this lane. There's no reason for it to get out of this lane, especially there's a car coming on my left. actually not the correct lane and Mike just said Mike Hoffman from cyber owners um, he said this whole area up here got redone um, in terms of uh, how the road works this map is wrong this is wrong map data it looks like I'm going over a lane and I, I don't believe I am yeah, this, this map data is definitely wrong. Um, 
but fortunately the car is handling it real well. And I think this is also the incorrect turn lane, so it should not get over here. It could, it just goes into the outlets, but the most direct route is the route the nav is actually taking for once. And so this is gonna be an interesting test because it also has to get in the left lane once it turns. So this is the correct turn lane. I'm gonna turn on the blinker to be courteous to the people behind me. It needs to work on that. And get in the left lane. Okay, so I had to turn on the blinker there. It might have done it, but so what's this person doing? Oh, that's a dog. I thought it was pointing. She was pointing at me. Okay, I'm having the pressure through. That was a complicated intersection there. A little bit too close to the curb for me. Sure, it needs to actually take a right past the stop sign. Um, yeah, there we go. Awesome. So it actually made it in here. Your destination is on the right. Hey, this is the first time it's ever done. Okay, not counting that disengagement, but it's the first time it ever did that. So I don't know if this is zero. I mean, I don't know if it's zero. At most, it was a one disengagement drive. It was a good drive. It was definitely, it was good. Um, I haven't done this, so I can't compare it against anything. But uh, besides the phantom braking, this was an overall good drive. Uh, if you have questions down below, everyone, I'll, I would like to hear your feedback and comments, as always. I'm just waiting on Travis to get here. He should be here in a second, and we'll be on our way to Asheville to do some city testing. Bye.